Hello my rosy readers and welcome back to my channel. At today's speed build, yes I know it's Christmassy themed, but Candlemas is technically the final day that you can have your Christmas decorations up, even if we are in the season of Septimagisma, which we are in now. So in the liturgical year, the colors are now technically purple. We're in the the, the planning stages, if you will, for Lent. So this is the time to remind you, hey, if there's something you want to do for Lent, now's the time to start thinking about it. And there's your friendly reminder to get your Lenten practices into high gear. Anyways, so the Candlemas itself is uh, the Feast of the Purification of Our Lady and the Baptism of Our Lord. Don't want to say? Or was something... I'm, I apologize, I always forget them because it's, it's a double... It's a double uh, holiday, I guess you can call it. It The Purification of Our Lady, which is an old Jewish rite that Our Lady had to do. That women were required to do after the birth of their ch firstborn son, I believe is what it was. Or even at sons in general. My apologies, it's been a while since I've learned that some of this information. But this is, you know, a pretty, Im Im fairly important holiday. It's the day when candles are blessed, and hence the reason why it's called Candlemas. But it's, you know, it's a purifying holiday, if you will, and it closes up the entire Christmas season. You know, you have Advent, you have the little Christmas season, and then the Epiphany season. Well, Christmas season, then you've got the 12 days of Christmas, and then you got the Epiphany season, which lasts about a week, or at least, you know, the holiday itself, and then you have the time after Epiphany. Like I said, now it's up to Wichizuma, and we're getting into preparations for Lent. But Candlemas is the official final day for uh, Christmas decorations. It, historically, it was the original day that was the final day to have your Christmas decorations up. Simply because, it, like I said, it was still a part of the whole, the baby, the, the child, dealing with the... The holidays dealing with the child Jesus, if you will, in the early lives of the Lord. Because, like I said, it's the purification of Our Lady. It was a ritual that many Jewish women went through during that time. I think many still do, in fact. And some of it has come into play in later Christian traditions, as well, and Catholic, if you will, traditions in later years. So, yeah, it's... I apologize that I couldn't say, I don't want to say too, too much about it, because I have a book to review as well, and so, yes, I wanted to talk a little bit about Candlemas, but I also want to review this book, and it is another reason why I, this is a Christmas-themed one, it's a Christmas-themed book, unlike last time when it was, um, classic books that was for Christmas, you know, a rewrite for Christmas, if you will. These are fairy tales set in the modern day. So, it was five fairy tales. I always, it's like, I, I know what they are, but I always feel like there's one missing. Which just feels weird. I don't know why. But the stories are as, I don't know, maybe it is six. Oh my gosh, why can't I not remember it? Anyways, the six are, oh gosh, I, I keep wanting to say five or six. Uh, maybe if I started saying it, because I had Sleeping Beauty, that was the first one, then we had Mulan, and then there was Snow White, and...
Oh my gosh, I forgot Willow's the fourth one now. And I finished reading it not so long ago. Maybe because... And the Little Mermaid is the final one. That I remember. Obviously. Um, and those are mainly the ones that I like the most. But... Yeah, I, I, I don't know what's... Why I can't remember that fourth one, maybe because it didn't resonate with me as well as some of the others, or really wasn't as memorable, which is odd because they all technically were memorable. Cinderella, that was it. It was Cinderella. Duh. How could I forget it? Because it was in the New Year's Ball, you know, and the whole midnight thing of Cinderella. I should remember that. Ugh. But I don't think that one was as well done as the others, probably why I don't remember it. So... But yeah, those are the, those are the fairy tales. They're each pretty interesting, and... Like I said, they're given a modern take on it. The way they did it was was pretty well done. I I'd say definitely check it out. It was Once Upon a Christmas. Tony Shiloh is the name of one of the authors. That's how I found it in the first place, and that's the one author I technically remember. She wrote the Snow White story, and it is it was pretty good to say the least. You know what can I say? It was the whole thing was pretty good. So. Yeah, I hope you do check that series out. Like I said, it is fairy tales, romantic. So it's kind of got the cute meat, almost love at first sight, that, you know, at least their attraction. There's definitely attraction and they start to fall in love with each other, you know, yeah, yeah. And I think the other reason why I remember the Snow White one in particular, not because of Tony Shiloh, but because that was just the seven door, well, seven dwarves were interesting as well because it's a different take on that. that that was a lot of fun so anyways so i hope you enjoyed this build i hope you find the book and read it it is available on kindle three bucks thanks for coming by i hope you have a wonderful day saint blaze pray for us